to my channel if you're new welcome so today's video is going to be voiceover style I kind of feel like it's giving that for whatever reason it's been loud all morning like in 30 seconds I will probably hear a siren I don't know what's going on I don't know it's because the weather's getting hot and people can finally be outside but it's so loud outside so I'm gonna be doing my makeup getting ready to take photos for Instagram you guys seem to like this style of video and I need to take Instagram photos because people think that like I just don't post out anymore which I don't, but there's a reason for that. And I'll talk about it over the voiceover, but I'm gonna be quiet and do my makeup, my skincare, my hair, get dressed, my perfume, the voiceover style. I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, if you do, I don't know what to say now, because I'm about to film the video anyways, but just let me know your thoughts down below, okay? But I'll still be talking to you guys, just not like this. All right, cool. So before I start on makeup, we'll be doing skincare. This video is sponsored by Difference. I'll be using their line of products, starting with their Pore Minimizing Toner with Witch Hazel. I love this toner. It's so gentle and lightweight. It really doesn't have much of a scent to it. This toner is alcohol-free, so it will not dry your skin out, and it's meant to just smooth your skin and tighten and minimize the appearance of pores on your skin. So this is 10 out of 10. Next, I'll be using their Dark Spot Correcting Serum, and this is meant to gradually fade discoloration, pigment, spots, and blotches, and also helps to reduce the appearance of post-acne marks. A lot of their products are meant to help with acne-prone skin. They have a whole line of products, so be sure to check out their site if you have acne-prone skin. But this serum was kind of cool. It had like a jelly feel to it. It was definitely different than the average serum that I've used. Next, I took their Resurfacing Scar Gel. I've been using this longer than I've been using the other products because I've been trying to clear these two scars. You guys know if you've been watching my vlogs, I've been doing um, the scar treatment. But even if you get laser, you still want to maintain those scars and, you know, use scar products on top of them to help, you know, assist the lasering. So I've been using this. And the final step is moisturizer. So I use their oil absorbing moisturizer with sunscreen, has SPF 30. I've been using sunscreen every single day. So I'm happy this moisturizer has sunscreen already in it because it makes my skincare process even quicker. I have to use sunscreen. I learned the hard way when I was getting my last laser treatment that it is pointless to get any lasering or honestly any like skin type of facials done if you're not gonna wear sunscreen. If you're trying to improve your scars or dark spots, you have have to wear sunscreen so take it from me wear your sunscreen I mean you guys have been telling me to do sunscreen so I'm finally listening so after I was done with skincare it is time for makeup I'm using this eco brow styler in the shade Liz to do my brows my brows are so easy to do because I actually tweezed them prior to this I noticed that whenever I pluck my brows before doing my makeup it comes out easier and I know that's a no-brainer it's just a lot of times I'm too lazy to do it but I'm so excited because the girl who did my microblading on my brows last year she's coming to LA next month and I'm debating on if I want to get my brows even thicker or darker because when you get your brows microbladed they like fade by like 30 percent or something like that so stay tuned for that because I'm for sure gonna vlog it I'm so mad last time I did vlog it and the footage was silent but anyways I'm done ranting after I did my brows, I cleaned up with my concealer. I used the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Biscuit. I love this concealer for cleaning up my brows because it's creamy enough to really, you know, sculpt the way I want to, but it's not too runny. It's the perfect concealer to clean up your brows. So to prime my skin before I work on my eyes, I use this Tatcha, was it the Silk Canvas Primer? I'm new to using this primer, but I like it. Honestly, I'm really not that picky when it comes to liking products if you guys haven't peeped. As long as it doesn't break me out, if it's smooth and easy to blend out, I will probably like it. Because I'm just not that picky. Yeah, I mean there's not too many products like makeup, skincare that I can think of that I'm like, I don't like this. It's very rare that happens. But anyways, clean out my brows. Oh yeah, I meant to talk to you guys about why I haven't been posted on Instagram. Because the, the platform kind of sucks. Like, I just stopped putting in effort. If you really think about it, I haven't really put much effort into my Instagram since like almost a year ago. Their algorithm is just not cute. And I just didn't want to put my energy into it. And I was spending so much time putting my energy into my YouTube channel that it's hard to balance the two. Oh, I got this new palette, Natasha Denona. Anyways. 
um yeah it, it was it's hard balancing the two and then it's like tiktok was coming up so it's like got my agents like okay you need to get on this platform too so it's like okay i gotta do all three you know i'm trying to find a balance to where i can create content for all three platforms without it being too tiring i know some people who will dedicate like one day to tiktok one day to instagram one day to youtube so i probably will do that i do miss posting on instagram sometimes sometimes i don't know i just i just got so deep into youtube and then it's like you hear so many negative things about Instagram and their algorithm that in a way I kind of got scared to post. I'm like, damn, I don't pull this effort and it flops. So I just kind of checked out when it came to Instagram. But I'll be posting again because I noticed that when I don't post on Instagram, you guys get worried and you guys notice. And I have to stop thinking about the algorithm and more about the people who like are actively looking to see my posts and who like my posts and just think about you guys while I'm creating content. But for the most part, it was like half the algorithm, half I was really, really investing into YouTube. Because YouTube, if you think about it, amongst the other platforms, they don't really switch up too much. Not too often. So I just feel like it's worth more of my time, or it was worth more of my time and effort. But Instagram picks loading, because I, I kind of do miss taking photos. Anyways, my eyes are damn near done. These were not coming out the way I wanted it to, but somehow, someway, end up looking nice. Honestly, I learned eyeshadows that as long as the top part looks blended and you make a nice wing, you're straight. Because once you put on your lashes, you can't really see any mistakes you've made. So after doing my wing, I cleaned up with concealer. I love this part. My favorite part of makeup will always be concealer. I just don't see how it wouldn't be. And I'm also going to start incorporating skincare into all of my Get Ready With Me's because the last like few days, I've like taken my time with my skincare. Like really layered everything on. And when you... Take your time with your skincare. I mean, I know everyone says this, I've said it before, but like, I just want to reiterate it. Your makeup comes out so much better. Like, it just hits different. Everything blends better. Like, I know this is like a no brainer, but it just, I have to say it because other, some days, like, I'll rush on my skincare. I'll do like my serum, my moisturizer, but I won't like tone. I won't do all my treatments. But the days in which I do everything, my makeup always comes out better. It never fails. So I'll start incorporating skincare portions during my Get Ready With Me's, even if they're not sponsored. You know what I mean? Uh, because I think it's important. And I notice my makeup just looks way better when I do that. By the way, I decided to put this like freaking glowy stuff underneath my foundation, but put this on before you put your concealer on. I didn't think that through. It was like a last minute decision. I bought a, a whole bunch of new stuff from Sephora, so I was just trying stuff at this point. The next thing I'm gonna try, it's my first time trying this, is this N Natasha Denona foundation. I never tried it before. I wasn't sure if this shade was gonna work, but it came out so nice and blended so nice. It's like medium to full coverage, but it's super lightweight. So yeah, this foundation is that girl. By the way, if you ever notice that like I might stumble on my words or stutter, it's not because I'm nervous. I've been doing this for six years, okay? It's because I'm hungry. Because a lot of times when I film these videos, I'd be so locked in that I won't eat till super late. I mean, it's like 2.15. I ate after I filmed this because my boyfriend cooked breakfast. That's kind of like our thing. Like he cooks breakfast and I cook dinner and it works because I love breakfast, but I, I don't always feel like making it or mentally I can't make it because I'll be thinking about videos I have to film so he really came through because now that I think about it if he didn't cook oh I'd be so hungry right now ah anyways I put on my concealer here I am fixing my freaking baby hairs I love this wig so much I just ah, it's time to elevate I need a wig that looks like Tay installed it 
so that's loaded i'll figure out how to do it but i set my under eye i've been using the laura mercier translucent in the shade honey i've been liking how this looks because then it's like my brightening powder is pink so this being a yellow powder and then me putting the pink on top it neutralizes it and it just gives it looks really good so that's what i'm doing here and then i set my entire face i use the mac mineralized skin finish and on top of that i use this for micro smooth powder So for bronzer, I used this Black Radiance bronzer. I want to alternate. I know I always use Charlotte Tilbury, but I want to give you know a different option because this one really works just as good. I just kind of put too much on. But this is like a dupe, like literally a dupe if you don't want to spend money on the Charlotte Tilbury one. I just, yeah, like you saw, kind of went heavy on it, but I blended it out and it worked out perfectly fine. I really love eyeshadow now. I don't like doing it because I, I wouldn't even call it laziness. I just don't like doing it. But every time I do it, my makeup looks so much better and it just gives. So I really think that from now on, I will do eyeshadow, at least like way more than I was already doing it. So I'm contouring my nose. I already put blush on. I use California Girl, or is it, is there a girl? Is it girl? Wait, hold on, let me look. Is it California Girl or just California? I don't know where it is, bro, but it's by benefit. And then I contour my nose with Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And now I'm just putting some of the uh, Tatcha Silk Canvas Powder underneath my eyes just to make sure there's no creasing there. And I just want to use it because I it's new and I just want to use it. So I kind of had no point to do this, but I justified it. Anyways, I blended that out, fixed my contour up a little more, and then I'm going to fix my brows any second now because I noticed some flaws with those. I set my face and now it was time to do my lashes. I noticed my makeup hits more like when I'm filming and I'm not talking because like during this, oh, I'm using this highlighter by Natasha Denona. I bought a lot of her products because I don't know, I just, I wanted to buy some. But what was I saying? Oh, I watch Law & Order whenever I, like I'm filming and I'm not talking and it just calms me and it just, I don't know, I just feel so much more relaxed. It gets tiring to have to talk every single time I do my makeup. Like, I miss the days where I just did my makeup and it was just for fun. Now every time I do my makeup, it's like, okay, you gotta film it because if you don't film it, they're gonna ask you, where is the tutorial? And if I don't have one, I'm gonna disappoint people. But man, I, I really enjoyed doing my makeup today because I was just able to watch my Law & Order episodes, although I've already seen every single one, and just vibe out. So now for lips, you're probably thinking, Arnell, you're gonna do a basic look you always do. I kind of did, but I added color. So I lined my lips with brown liner first. This is not chestnut. I did switch it up a little bit. And then I used this like red gloss by, or it was more, it was more pink, okay, I lied. It's a dark pink though. I never do darker pinks like this. By Buxom, it's like their new like Tahiti collection or something like that. Some vacation tropical collection, okay? I used that in the middle of my lips and then I used this Natasha Denona nude gloss around it. And I thought that created a different effect. So I really liked how my lips came out. But in hindsight, they kind of do look like the lip color I always do. Anyways, time for hair. I sprayed some of this uh, Erica J Heat Protectant slash Shine Sheen. Oh, too many S's. I sprayed that on my hair first and then I brushed through it and I just did these flips. Nothing special to be honest. This wig is so easy to style, I'm not gonna lie to you. The only time this wig gets on my nerves is when I forget to brush it consistently and it tangles in the back, like in the nape area. But I feel like so many wigs do that that it doesn't stand out to me, but it is annoying. So I had to brush through the hair first, straighten it. Believe it or not, this wig, 
I mean, outside of like the top part being hot combed to look flat, I hadn't pressed it up until this point. It was just blow dried. So that's how the hair looks when you wash and blow dry. Cause I did wash this wig cause it was too oily. I was abruptly cut off because a fire truck was passing by, which is exactly why I did not do a talk through during this video because it's been so loud outside today. But as I was saying, um, this wig, it, it had uh, got too oily, so I washed it and I let it air dry. So prior to me straightening it and styling it, it was just blow dry and it looked really good. So I'm gonna link that video of uh, me styling and installing this wig down below. Don't miss out on that, it's a really nice wig. But here I am just fix my baby hairs. I really hope you guys can't hear that beeping outside because it just got loud again. This swoop bang was kind of a waste of my time because I ended up changing my mind. I do want to do like a look like this sooner or later though. But I ended up pushing the hair back because I just, I don't know, I like how it looks. But I did my hair and then I went and got dressed and so after I'm done styling my hair, which should be any second now, I'll be back to change. Or I'll be back changed in a different shirt. So I got dressed, I don't know if I like my outfit or not. Like, the top is cute, I feel like it's a lot. I ordered it online, this is like Instagram store that I want to test out, and I think the quality is okay, I'm sure you guys right now. See, it's one of these type of tops. But like, I don't know, it's not the most flattering to me. And the bottoms I picked, I think they're cute. It's like a perfect color match to the top, and I never thought I'd wear these, but I just never threw them away, because I just, I, I figured that one day, I would like find out for them. I just didn't know it would happen like this. But it's like the band of the pants, they're not super flattering to me. So if I do take photos in this, I'm just gonna sit down and do it. But I probably will take photos in this. I just gotta figure out a way to make the top. I don't know, the top is weird. I gotta figure this top out. But I wanna end this video with a fragrance, you guys know me. I got this Tom Ford one at Sephora. It's Soleil. Niege, maybe that's how you say it. I don't know, I'm just buying fragrances and this smelled really good, so I'm gonna spray that. I feel like it's, uh, I can't explain it. It's like kind of springy, but very warm. Like you can wear it at both day and night, but I feel like it's a really nice daytime fragrance. It's very fresh, it's very fresh. Just, I don't know, it's like kind of subtle, but like not really. Like you do remember this scent. And it's perfect balance. I don't know, I just feel like my vibe match this fragrance. Wait, it even dawned on me that like, 
my top kind of matches my eyes. I didn't even do that on purpose. I was just like, okay, what do I want to wear? I know that for Instagram photos, I always pick out greens, although I need to switch up my colors. I just love green and I love colors like this, but everything turned out really good. So I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna go take photos sooner than later. I typically would vlog that process, but I just don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's gonna turn out good somehow, some way, because I feel like my makeup and hair looks perfect for photos. I might change the top though, depending on how it photographs. I don't know, I gotta figure that out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you to Different for sponsoring this video. You guys will see me using their products for the rest of the year. I'm gonna attach a link down below for you to check them out. They make products for normal dry skin, oily skin, acne prone skin. They pretty much have a product for every skin type. So be sure to check down below for that link as well as everything else I used. I'll link everything that is linkable as far as my makeup, hair. I already did a video on this wig, so I'll link that down below as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video.